So I've got this little setup here because according to uh, a lot of places, the high pressure oil pump reservoir, which is this little rectangle right down here that hides behind the uh, air stuff, um, this circulates in the top end of the engine, it circulates the oil, and a lot of times it's supposedly it's all connected, but evidently, according to a bunch of diesel experts, it's not connected to the oil reservoir that's underneath the bus. So, um, so I'm supposed to suck this stuff out, and I wanted to show everybody just how easy this is to do because it really is that easy. So there's a little. Um, this is the plug, and it has an Allen head. Uh, which is a 3 16 Allen head at the top. You, and you move your air stuff off, which is four bolts, super simple. Take that little Allen head off. I've got um, tubing that I got at the hardware store and a mason jar that I got from my son that used to have, um, lucky for me, gluten-free uh, pasta sauce. And anyway, so Drilled a couple holes. One of them was bad, so I capped it off with a rubber washer underneath. So it's it's so this is pretty airtight. And then um, for today, because I can't seem to find where I put my little uh, things that air up air mattresses, I got one from my neighbor, and it also sucks. So here we go. You ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug that in. We'll see what happens. my first quart of sludge out um, of course I've got it backlit so it's kind of hard to see let me put it all right so there see how nasty that is that is after I already added um, about that much not quite a quart into the reservoir after I um, after I replaced the o-rings on the high pressure oil pump so you know, I can just imagine how bad it was before <laughs> there was a little filtration happening up there. Um, so anyway, I'm going to dump it. This is my little setup. Let me tell you that. All right. It's just a quart mason jar and I got a mason jar, a glass mason jar instead of using. Yes, I'm advertising HEB. I like that grocery store. Anyway. Um, instead of using like a plastic, uh, like peanut butter jar because after I replace the fresh oil in there, I'm gonna run the engine for a few minutes, which means it's gonna be hot oil. And hot oil and plastic do not mix. This is my basic setup. Ignore this, that's where I poked a hole that it was too big, so I just put a rubber washer in there and made it airtight. But it's just a couple small pieces of tubing that fit within the hole in the high pressure oil pump and then the other end of it fits to the little air mattress suction thing and I'm gonna dump this old nasty oil in here get my fresh oil and go put some more in the high pressure oil pump reservoir run the engine a few minutes and do this all over again I plan on doing it at least two more times and it kind of depends on how gross that is if I'll do it three times more yuck more yuck out of the uh, high pressure oil pump it is some gnarly gnarly black thick gooey gunky yucky stuff so that's round two I'm gonna put some more fresh oil in there and run the bus for a little while now that I have also fresh batteries in it yes it wouldn't start yesterday, so I got part way done and I couldn't keep going because I've got to run the engine for like five minutes. 
Um, so anyway, so I got new batteries, got them installed, got a fresh quart of not fresh oil out, and uh, I'm gonna dump this in my bucket of recyclable oil and do it one more time. Here we go. Well, folks, this is round three. It's still kind of dark, which is kind of not surprising, as bad as it was inside there, but the, uh, I don't know if you can even tell, like what's the residue that's on the jar isn't nearly as thick and dark as the previous two uh, batches, so I think I've made pretty good progress. So I'm going to put um, this much oil back in it. Uh, minus a little bit and then I'm going to put some uh, additive in there it's called arch oil um, highly recommended so I'm going to give it a try I already put it in in the arch oil in the uh, lower end when I did the oil change so I'm going to put just a little bit in with this last quart that I put in and uh, I'm just about ready to take that baby for a test drive and see how much better it's doing. I realized I didn't really show the full setup. So since I've managed to get it narrowed down to something that even us vagabonds can carry with us, I figured it's worth it to show it to you. So here's the setup. I've got a small air mattress pump that also does reverse so it'll you know pull the air out of air mattresses or in this case oil out of uh, high pressure oil pump reservoirs um, 3 16 allen wrench my bus is a 2002 Ford well it's a bluebird but it's on a Ford chassis so it's the e450 Super Duty chassis and uh, 7.3 turbo diesel coveted. I love it. It's just, it's a sweet engine. Um, anyway, so my high pressure oil pump reservoir has a fitting on it that is a 3 16 Allen. So I have a 3 16 Allen for removing that uh, plug and you need to, because it is a small hole, you need small hose. So I've got hose that's a quarter inch ID, which is interior or inside dimension. And it measures five sixteenths on the outside. So you want to kind of stick to that size if that's the size of your plug. So I'd say first is, you know, remove your plug, see if it's, see if it's about that size or a little bit bigger and then go with the 5 16 hose I have about six feet of it um, I did a glass jar and I took the lid this is just a leftover you know like salsa salsa uh, not salsa spaghetti sauce jar right okay so the lid yeah ignore that that's where I used the wrong size bit to begin with I was not paying attention screwed up so I just yeah if you screw up that's how you fix it right there okay folks get a rubber washer get a bolt thread it in there if you don't screw up just drill two holes 5 16 metal bit 5 16 bit 3 16 allen wrench a funnel that is small at the end, preferably 5 16 This is actually a little bit big and I have to really hold it tight down in there. So if you get one that's smaller, that will be helpful when you're putting the fresh oil in. Glass jar, it helps if it's got uh, markings on it so that you can see how much you take out and then put that much back in. And a pump. Now let me show you over here how to find where your um, reservoir is. So when you open the hood, or when I open my hood, I see this thing, which kind of covers up everything, right? The 
high pressure oil pump reservoir is right back there. It's really close and it's not that hard to get to. There are four screws, two up here and, and two down here, not screws, they're bolts, sorry. Wrong term. Just remove these, loosen this. Right, this slips off. It's easier if you slip this off and kind of push it out of the way and then push your whole air filter section back to get it out from under here. These slip inside this. So you just push this back and then release this. Now it is, it does have one plug right here. So you can unplug it or you can just, when you take this apart, just swing it around and set it over here to the side. That's how my bus is set up now. Other vehicles might be set up differently. So really pay attention to what you're looking at. Know where all your components are before you start this process. Anyway, the plug for the high pressure oil pump or for the reservoir is right down there. It's not far away. Once you remove all your air system stuff, you'll be able to see it really easily. You just stick that Allen wrench down there, untwist it, or you know, take out the plug. Be careful, hold on to it so you don't drop it because if you drop it and it goes down there, that's the valley of the engine and it's deep in there. It's hard to see. You're gonna need a mirror, you're gonna need a magnet. So if you think you're gonna drop it, go ahead and get a mirror and a magnet before you even start. That's it, put your hose in there. Other hose goes in the vacuum. Vacuum out the old oil, dump it, clean out your jar, measure that much clean oil, put it in there, run the engine for five minutes, Come back, do it one more time. Basically do it three times, a third time, or the last time you decide to do it. If you have some of this, put an ounce to three ounces in with your last measurement of oil that you put back in your um, reservoir. According to the research that I found, which do your own research, please. According to my research, there's three quarts of oil in the top end. Because I'm a cautious person, I only put, you put one ounce per quart. So I only put two ounces in the top end with my last quart of oil that I put in here. So I still need to go drive it around. But before I do that, I've got to reattach a few things from my paint job. In case you hadn't noticed, the bus is now red and white. I've got a little bit more painting to do. There's some little touch-up spots I've got to do. And I've got to finish the hood. But I've got to do all that and put my mirrors back on before I can actually drive it around. So it'll be another week, probably, before I driving it and then I'm going to test drive it a few miles and see what kind of gas mileage I get. I'm really excited about that now that I've done some uh, some maintenance that needed done and uh, a few little upgrade things. We'll see what happens.